three quick pops and then oh <laughs> right there just when i'm talking about it oh oh <laughs> three for three come on go for it go for it. there's junk on my lure but he's chasing it yep oh there we go nice and green gorgeous colors <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman and today we are doing a bait that I've been wanting to throw for a long time. About two months ago I was walking around the Bass Pro Shops just looking at the topwater, see if they had anything new, anything I hadn't seen before and I came across a bait that I absolutely fell in love with. I could not wait to throw it. I've literally been just waiting for the springtime, waiting for the topwater bite and finally that time is here. So let me show you what I bought. It is an absolute wild, crazy, exciting, fun top water and hopefully it triggers one of the biggest bites I've ever had. We're just gonna have to wait and find out because whew, I'm excited. Let's check them out. For size reference, here's the Zara Puppy, here's the Super Spook Junior, here's the Super Spook, and the Mac Daddy itself, this giant walking bait that I'm about to throw. This bait is literally the size of my face. It is absolutely massive. I know some smaller fish are gonna get ahead of themselves and probably go for this, so we'll probably catch some twos and threes, maybe even a one pounder on this thing. But I'm just, whew, I'm so excited because the potential of this bait is unreal. I could really trigger one of the biggest topwater bites I've ever had. So let's stop wasting time, let's get on the water and throw this bait and hopefully find us a giant. This bait honestly looks like something you'd throw for like GTs or something. This thing is ridiculous. Oh, just got blown up on. There we go. Oh, we're on. First fish, not a giant, but pretty fish. It's a very green. Oh, he's got a little fight in him. Not that bad of a fish. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, we lost him. That was a solid three pounder. Dang. There we go. There we go. Came right out of the bushes right there. I saw him wake on it as soon as that hit the water. Come on in here, buddy. Oh, there we go. Come on in here. Oh, there's a bass right behind it. There's literally a bass right behind this fish. Come on in here, buddy. Give him a little bit of line. And boat flip. First fish in the boat. Let's go. Saw a little chunky bass right here. Whew, let's get a scale on this one. I'm saying, what's this fish look like? I'm saying like high twos, maybe three pounds. And let's see what we got. Three, three, bigger than I thought. Bigger than I thought, good fish, wow. All right, solid start. The, uh, let's see, just a size comparison real quick. Here's what this fish attempted to eat. Wow, that's a big old bait for this bass. Beautiful fish though, let's get her back in the water. Here we go. Oh, swims on. Woo, that's what we want guys. Yes, we got a fish in the boat, we're on the board, we're ready, we're rocking and rolling. It is time to get a six plus in the boat because that is why I'm throwing this bait for an absolute giant. There's nothing more annoying than getting hog tied when you're throwing walking baits especially big ones. These hooks are not very forgiving and they just grab every bit of line that they possibly can when it's uh, there's a little bit of too much action on that bait. Oh, oh come back, come back. Oh, we got a little, we got a little bite on it. Oh, oh, came at it again. Come on, I know you want, he's right behind it. He's right behind it. No. <laughs> Three times. Oh, he just went right by the boat. That was a nice little two pounder. Oh, that was too funny. He was hunting it, man. He wanted it. So fun to watch bass when they're locked in like that. Just like literally just going right in behind the lure, just hunting it as hard as they can. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Uh, it's a smaller one. I told you we we're gonna get some small guys on this lure today. He's just helicoptering in over here. Here we go. This is a zero effort on this fish. 
Oh, come right in the boat. He didn't even put up a fight. He just let me pull him in. And he's probably going to freak out on me, though. There we go. This is a calm guy. He's got a nice, uh, relaxed demeanor. Popped it right out. Smaller one for that size of a bait. Probably right around two. Nice doing business with you, man. Off to the next. This is what I like to see. An aggressive topwater bite in the works. All we gotta do is find a nice giant sitting on this bank, looking for a big meal, looking for something a little bit extra today. <laughs> second to go over exactly how I like to work a walking bait. I've used them for a long time, I've tried a lot of different things, and I've found over time quite a few things that have worked really well for triggering bites for me, so pay attention. First things first, bait fish are erratic, they do weird things, they go all over the place in the water, they don't really like to swim in a straight path, so basically what you want to do is make this bait erratic as possible and do things that are going to trigger a bass to bite on impulse when they're looking at it and keen in on it so one of my favorite things to do is work it nice and slow just like some slow pops back and forth and then i'll let it pause on one and then i'll quickly pop it like three or four times just three quick pops and that'll oh <laughs> right there just what i'm talking about it perfect example that oh we lost the fish but could not be a better example that quick darting action makes that fish go into a fight or flight mode and they really key in on that bait because it's they're either going to lose that chance of go after the bait if they don't react on it when it starts to dart off like that so that was a perfect example could have not timed that any better basically what i'm getting at is you really want to change the tempo and the speed that you retrieve the lure do weird things do dramatic pauses do erratic quick burst uh very rarely do i ever find just a steady retrieve of any like kind of variety whether it's slow fast like medium speed very rarely do I ever find that working for me uh, more than something erratic. So try those long pauses, try those quick erratic bursts, and you're really probably gonna start to catch more fish on top water walking bait. Get a little bit closer up on this bank. Let's see, oh, yep. There's one chasing it. Oh, and he's on. <laughs> oh, not a big bass, but a very ferocious, angry bass. Oh, did I get him in the eye? Oh, no, in the skull. Got him in the skull. That's okay. Builds character. Well, we're trending downwards. Not what I want, but I'll take the fish. Oh, God, he is he's ready to go. He was uh, flipping and flopping the whole way throughout that catch process. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, come on. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> no, he's off. Dang it. Oh, I hit it three times. It, was, it wasn't a very big one. He was only probably about two pounds. Ah, that's unfortunate. It is so fun when they want it like that. Just watching them hit it over and over again, especially if you finally hook up and land it. But just even watching them hunt it down is just so entertaining. I'm going to go ahead and need y'all to break out the notepad because this is a certified guaranteed fish on this cast take notes guys oh, oh oh that was a fish oh i got a bite right away dang okay i still feeling good about it we missed the first one come on come on i told y'all to take notes i'm not kidding because there's gonna be a fish dang it okay just go ahead and scratch scratch out those notes oh frustrating missed the fish Oh, oh, now we're tangled on this. Come off. Come off. Okay, this is the cast that you really need to take notes on uh, because I'm 10 feet or 30 feet up in the tree. That's exactly where you want to be if you want to catch a 10 pounder. That's okay because we're going to get one on this cast. It's going to happen. Oh, there we go. Oh, come around that. Come around that bush. Oh, it's just a little baby. Oh, he's not that bad. He's not that bad. I take that back. 
Come in here, buddy. Pretty fish, super, super green. Absolutely gorgeous. Bait is half as long as the fish though. That's hilarious. Oh, dropped them. There's more where that came from on this bank though. I'm feeling another one. Yeah. Oh, I told it. That is what I'm talking about. Come to Papa back to back cast on the mega spook. Get on in here. With the nastiness and all, still delivers. Great fish. Well, not that great. He's just a little dinker. Uh, fun fish, though. Get back in. Oh, that was a, just a terrible release. What am I doing? See if we can go three for three on this bank. This is a bank I caught that nice, like four and a half, five pounder on the fly rod not too long ago. Oh. Oh, <laughs> three for three. I was going to say, let me get another cast because that was a bad cast and not on the bank at all. But as fish, soon as I was about to start reeling it in fast, this fat, ugh, I can't talk. This fish came flying out from the depths and struck my lure. And that's three for three on the bank right here. This spot is juicy. Great little fish. Let's drop the poles. We found the juice. It's time to get another. One more on this bank. I think we can get it right in here. Oh yeah, that's the juice. That is the juice. I thought we were golden for sure. Looks like we ran out of juice. I've worked my way around and now on the more challenging side of this pond fish this big old walking bait. And it's just because there's this overhang and I can't get quite up as close as I would like to the bank. So I'm really counting on getting pretty close to this tree line and hopefully having a fish notice it that's just tucked up underneath these branches somewhere. I really prefer like to flip into this kind of stuff, but we're using the spook today, so that's what we're using. Maybe this is where the giant's lurking. Oh, that was a gorgeous cast. Oh, there we go. I told you it was a gorgeous cast. I told you. definitely a better fish come on in here buddy oh yeah respectable fish right here best one in a while come on in here buddy oh yeah that's what I'm talking about now that is more like it a solid chunk right here let y'all get a good look at this beautiful girl nice and green gorgeous colors Solid chunk, probably about three pounds. This is uh, more what we're looking for. We're moving up the scale, trending in the right direction. So hopefully we can uh, tackle these trees. Already a good sign we are striking. Oh, got, oh. Yeah, okay, there it goes. That's all you get. Back in business. Let's get another one. There's more where that came from. Tucked up underneath these branches. Looking for a chomp. See what appears maybe to be a bed. There aren't too many. They're starting to appear. But this is looking like one. And that was a gorgeous cast. Right in the hot spot. Come on. Be something juicy. Oh yeah, there's one right behind it. Come on. Come on. Go for it. Go for it. There's junk on my lure, but he's chasing it. Yep. Oh, there we go. Yes, sir. Oh, that was so fun. Oh, he was chasing it right on that little bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is too much fun. You gotta love it. Give me a little line here. Don't let him loose. Come on in here, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Right where we're supposed to be. I saw that bed from a distance. Threw it in there. Gave it a dangle. And whew, it delivered. Not the biggest fish. Gorgeous fish, though. Happy with her. Let's get her back in. God, I'm uh, not very graceful on these releases today. A lot of side flops. And on that note, I'm going to bring the video to a close. But hopefully y'all enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, drop a like, subscribe. And as always, Bassin is a passion. Peace out.